Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be going over a grasshopper script that allows you to create a dome, as you see here. And uh, what this dome has is a bottom, a base, which is this pipe you see down here. Then we have the thickness, which is here. The exterior dome radius, so that's going to determine the size. So if we go here to let's see, 120, make it a little bit smaller, it'll adjust and keep the spacing uh, the same. So those are the basic dome parameters. Now as we move along here, you'll see the structure spacing. That'll determine the contour space of how the dome was divided. So as you can see, we can increase or decrease it to uh, whatever design you would like. So let's go back to Grasshopper. Oh, where are you? There you are. And so that's the spacing you can add there. Uh, let's increase it to make make the model easier to work with. Um, so. It could be as simple as a 48 inch space in between and we could also increase the thickness. So I have it at one. We could increase it to, let's, let's make it three. So yeah, that's the dome thickness that you can add there. And uh, as you can see down here, the base radius, you know, could you could increase or decrease it. So let's leave that at 2.5. And uh, these are subtracted from that, so it'll it'll create a clean connection there. Um, as we move along here, so yeah, we got the spacing, the structure thickness. Uh, that's actually this one here. That's offset two ways. So if 0.75 would be 1.5, but if we do 2.5, that'll give us a five-inch thick spacing there. Um, and as you can see, it's difference so we could increase that radius here to make it all be encompassed inside of that and uh, let's move along um, at the end here we have the three groups which is X Y oh, actually that's incorrect here um, so that's the bottom the base X and Y results so let's change here the spacing to 24 inch spacing let's see what kind of results we get and I do have a when I try to boolean union and put this all into one it's it gives me a hard time so that's something that you would have to go ahead and do after you uh, go here and bake it So that's kind of what you end up with, which is a clean dome on the inside. And then out here you have kind of those, the structure so you can build it. And uh, I hope you found that useful. It's a interesting little script. It, it does take uh, quite a few steps, but it's nothing, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's nothing too tricky or too difficult. Um, in my opinion so as you can see I've just briefly gone over this script I will add a link uh, for you to download the model and the grasshopper script and just so you can go ahead and, and mess around with it as you've seen I, I really enjoy designing domes and ever since I, I got back onto grasshopper I've really enjoyed getting back onto the mindset of doing parametric design and uh, yeah, they're just exercises that help, you know, help you become a better designer. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know if you have any questions or would like uh, to see any other videos or if you're tired of watching me do parametric stuff, if you just want me to do 3D models of uh, domes or other structures. So uh, yeah, it'd be exciting for, for to get some feedback from everyone. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching.